Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're here, welcome. As you can tell from the title of this video, today we are going to be testing out a lot of Focal Your products. Unfortunately, I don't have everything. I'm missing mascara, brow gel, primer and setting spray. So I'm going to be using other brands for those, but I believe I have everything else except a blush, but I'm going to be using an eyeshadow as a blush today to cover that area as well. Before we jump into it, I wanna mention a couple of things. Most of these products I purchased myself from the website called Shein when I was buying clothing items and accessories from them. However, some of these products I did receive from the brand. They very kindly sent them to me and literally all they asked was to do a review on them. That's why some of these products are really, really new, whilst other ones are not new at all and the older ones are also in different packaging I'm gonna show you that as we go along but basically I believe that there is very big difference in quality and in the look and the feel of the product depending on when it was made if that makes sense so as I said before I don't have a primer from Focalior so I used my very very well loved Bobbi Brown face base instead. If you haven't seen yet, I've done a video on this and this is basically my holy grail primer. A foundation we're gonna be using is the Focalior Skin Evolution Foundation. They do a primer as well, but when I was purchasing from Sheen, it was sold out and I didn't want to do a separate purchase from their brand own website as well because like I said I was already buying things from Shein so I had free delivery from them I didn't want to pay for delivery from China so I just went with the foundation now when I purchased the foundation they had two shades available one of them was called ivory which is I believe too light for me and the other one was called peach and anything peachy rosy pinky normally suits my skin so I went with the peach shade and by the time it arrived it turned out to be warm ivory and I'm not gonna lie it does look a lot more yellow than my skin so I'm not sure if this is gonna really suit my skin tone but just have to go with it. One thing to mention straight away is that these products seem to be a lot smaller than I initially thought even though this one is 30 milliliter, it looks really, really small, but yeah, it does have 30 milliliter or one fluid ounce of product in it. And it also has a pump. It's actually a quite nice pump. So I just took one pump of product and I'm gonna add it to the face. You can straight away see that it looks really yellow and it also feels really thick on the skin. I'm hoping that I can blend it out nicely with this brush. Once I finished applying it, I'm gonna go on their website and find out what the claims are about this foundation. It seems quite thick and like I said, it's quite a lot more yellow than my skin is. Okay, so that's one layer of the foundation. I don't think it would be a good idea to go back with the second layer because it feels quite thick and it is actually quite full coverage. I wouldn't say that it fully covered up this imperfection on my face but it did cover up the discoloration itself quite well. I'm not really feeling comfortable doing another layer because I think that would make it look extremely cakey. Okay, so I just had a look on the Focalior website and it looks like they have eight different shades of this foundation and actually this warm ivory might be the closest one to my skin tone. This is warm ivory and this is a shade before it called porcelain. This one seems to be even more yellow than the shade that I picked up and the one darker called natural is just too dark for me so maybe 
this warm ivory shade was the right choice for me this is the closest to my skin tone at least this is as close as it's gonna get but it's definitely not the right shade for me it's too yellow but I'm gonna just deal with it. They have quite good reviews on this foundation. They have 30 reviews and everyone is giving it five star. So let's very quickly go through the claims. This foundation is a lightweight foundation treatment that boosts radiance to leave skin silky smooth specially formulated with a blend of active ingredients to regenerate and repair skin whilst reducing visible fine lines and wrinkles. Features a natural extract from Japanese evergreen spice bush, minimizes the appearance of aging and provides antioxidant protection against environmental stresses. The luxurious foundation boosts elasticity for firmer skin. Okay, so I don't think I would necessarily call this lightweight. Like I said, for me personally, it actually felt quite heavy. Silky smooth finish. I'm not sure about it. Reducing fine lines. Mm, I might agree with that. It definitely didn't emphasize anything. So that's quite good. And I also don't feel like it emphasized my pores. So the product itself doesn't seem to be that bad so far it just takes a really long time to dry down and the color is really bad but i mean it's a chinese brand they probably have more yellow skin than i do the foundation itself is not bad i think just the color is a bit off but like i said i wouldn't put on more than this the next product we have is the focoyor liquid concealer very simple name i believe they don't have any other concealer apart of this one this comes in seven different shades and the one i have is number three light this also has an overall five star review but only two reviews so i wouldn't call that a solid outcome just yet Okay, this seems to be a lot more pink than the foundation was. So, fingers crossed, this is gonna help me fix the color problem here. It also seems to go a very long way. This is everything that was on the wand initially, so guess that's quite good I'm looking like an absolute crazy person I'm gonna go on and blend this out very quickly and we see how we're looking after okay what do you guys think I think that concealer did a really really good job not to mention that it was pink enough to help my skin look a bit more like itself so yeah i'm quite happy with that and i feel like because it's such a salmon pink shade it also helped to get rid of any discoloration any darkness so i feel like my face is super bright and even right now the next thing we need is definitely some setting powder so the next product i have from focoyor is the setting powder now this is an extremely small product. Just in comparison, this is the size of it compared to my Too Faced Peach Perfect powder. Whilst in the Peach Perfect powder, you get 35 grams of product. In this one, you have seven grams of product, which is five times less than what you get in the Peach Perfect one. This retails for about four pounds. So even considering that this is a really, really expensive powder, however, it is super cute if that's what you're looking for. It comes with this teeny tiny little thing that I'm not even going to use, but it's really cute anyway. And then here is the powder itself. I think the packaging is really, really similar to the Laura Mercier powder. This powder comes in three different shades. The first one is almost white, the third one is almost brown, and the middle one, which is this one, it seems to be quite pinky and similar to my skin tone, so I went with this one and I think it was the right choice. So just like always, I'm gonna take this powder brush 
and pick up some of the product and just start setting the face. Some areas of the face with the foundation still feel really sticky, so you definitely need to set this foundation. All right, I think that looks quite nice. It definitely helped to really mattify the face and get rid of that stickiness that the foundation left behind. Now, whilst Focoyor on their own website have a lot of blushes, highlighters, mini face palettes available, on Shein they didn't really have that many face products from them. So I picked up this little contour kit, it's literally a light matte shade and a darker cool tone shade to contour. So very quickly we're gonna contour up the face and just create some shadows and some lighter areas to give three dimensions to the face. And I'm gonna start with the contouring. Looks like a quite good shade to contour. Well, let's just say I'm not surprised that they replace this product with something else now. They don't have this kind of a contour and highlight palette on their own website anymore. They have something like this instead and this actually looks a lot more promising than the one I'm wearing right now. I don't know why, but I just feel like I look dirty. The brightening shade did help to reduce that, but I just feel like this contour shade looks so muddy on the face. Um, it's really not a good look for me. Maybe my skin is just not dark enough for it, but it's really not looking too nice on me. So we're just gonna move on very quickly. Before I would jump into the highlighter or the blush, I wanna quickly do my brows because they are looking as hideous as usual. For that, I'm gonna be using this brow pencil from Focoyor. This was one of the products that they sent to me. So this is a relatively new product on their website. What's cool about this brow pencil is that you don't just get this product but you also get a refill for the time you run out. So you're actually getting twice as much because when you run out, you just remove it, pop this in instead, and you have a brand new eyebrow pencil again. This comes in eight different shades, which is quite decent. My one is shade 03, cool gray. I'm just gonna swatch it for you on the back of my hand. As you can see, this is a perfect match for me because my brows are really, really ashy, but not completely black. So I like to get a medium cool brown kind of shade. And this is basically that. It's not a pointed tip I'm normally used to, but I don't have an issue with that. I'm actually quite happy to try out something a bit different. I know that Benefit does a similar one to this as well called goof proof brow pencil and a lot of people seem to love that product yeah this color is looking really good for me okay so i'm gonna very quickly go on and just fill in my brows i can't believe i'm saying this but i think this is actually too cool toned for me. I've never had an eyebrow pencil as gray as this is, but I'm gonna now very quickly go and use some brow gel off camera. And because that's a dark brown shit, I think that's gonna balance it out. So no big deal. If you're looking for a really gray brow pencil, then they have you covered. All right, so I think I've managed to save my eyebrows and bring them back to how they're supposed to be like. Nevertheless, I did really like how the brow pencil performed, especially because normally my brow pencil cannot grip to the skin. It can only really grip to the hair itself. So for example, here under my brow, I have an area where my brow doesn't wanna grow and I always need to use my Urban Decay brow blade there to try to fill in 
that area. But with this pencil, the pencil itself was able to adhere to both my brow hair and the skin underneath equally as well. So I'm actually really happy with the performance itself. Okay, moving on, I'm gonna already take one shade from this eyeshadow palette to use it as a blush. Ooh, I'm really, I really, really hope that it's not too dark. Okay, it's a bit darker than what I normally would use as a blush, but we don't actually have the shades in this palette that I normally use. So we're just gonna go with what we have. And on top of that, I'm gonna use this little face highlighter. This really reminds me of Benefit What's Up, which I used to have. So I literally just put it on like this, and then I blend it out with my fingers, just like most cream products. It's a really beautiful, subtle highlight. I actually quite like that. I think this is a lovely highlighter. I'm definitely keeping this one. All right, so we only have a couple of products left. The main attraction is obviously going to be the eyeshadow palette, which is called Crystal Impressionism. However, because the lipstick that I have here is not a neutral shade. It's called Light Chestnut and I thought it was gonna be more neutral but it's actually more of like a mauve pinky color. I want to apply this one first because I want to be able to create an eye makeup look that's gonna work with this shade basically. So I'm gonna apply the liquid lipstick. It smells lovely. It smells very very similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. It's actually a lovely color. I really, really like it. The only thing is that because it has a bit of a purple in it, I wanna be able to match that from the palette. As you can see, there's not really much to work with. If you wanna make it more cool toned, we definitely will need to use again the shade that we used as a blush and think we need to try to use this color somehow as well and just overall try to keep this quite a, a cool toned look if we can. So yeah, let's jump right into it. I'm gonna start with the shade Rose Agat and I'm gonna apply that all over the lid. I've got bad news for you guys. The concealer is creasing. I don't know if that's because the setting powder didn't set it properly or the concealer itself is the issue, but I don't normally have these creases. Anyway, now this eyeshadow is going to set that, so it's sorted, but I normally don't have this kind of issue, so there's definitely something to note. Okay, so as you can see, I basically applied this shade all over. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take some of this dark shade and darken up the outer V. I'm not even going to try to pronounce these names anymore. You definitely need to take your time to build this dark shade up because every time you blend it, it blends away a little bit. So then you go back with more, build it up again and then blend it out again and then it's going to remove again some. So I basically keep going back and forth, blending it and then applying more, but it seems to be able to build up eventually, but it definitely takes a bit of work. The 
good thing is that I'm not really getting any fallout from this palette, which is quite unheard of even for more expensive palettes. All right, I think it's time to prepare that cut crease. So I'm gonna go off camera now and I'm gonna do a cut crease using this concealer and then I'm gonna be back to carry on with this eye makeup look. All right, so the cut crease is ready. Now I wanna do a bit of a mixture of two colors. I wanna take some of that purple shade to the edge of this color to use it as a transition between the burgundy and the other shade we're gonna be applying. And then in the inner corner, I wanna use the lighter shade, this alabaster shade, which is almost a white color. And then on the top of these two, we're gonna add this beautiful pressed glitter color and hope that it's gonna turn out the way I want it to turn out. So first I'm gonna start with this almost white shade in the inner corner. And then I'm gonna take the purple color and apply that here. If it's not the best blending you've ever done, don't worry about it because, like I said, we're gonna be using the gold one on top of it and that's basically gonna cover this up anyway. This purple shade does have a lot of fallout though, so I'm gonna need to get rid of that quickly. Before we jump into the gold shade, I'm gonna take some more of this burgundy shade on a very teeny tiny brush and I'm gonna emphasize this line. All right, so that's that so far. Now I really, really wanna apply that pressed glitter color. Yes, 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 the eyeshadow palette is bomb especially that pressed glitter shade, it's absolutely gorgeous. The last product I have from Focoyor is another one that they sent me. This is an eyeliner pen. It's a beautiful black shade. So now I'm gonna go on and use this as an eyeliner and then I'm gonna go off camera, apply some mascara and the look is completed. All right guys, so this is the finished makeup look. I don't know what you think. I love the eye. I feel like that last topper shade, that glittery shade was a complete game changer. I think it looks amazing. Very quickly, let's run through all of the products we used today. I didn't like the foundation. I think the shade selection is really, really bad. And I think it's very different to what they claim it to be. They say it's really lightweight. I don't think it is. I actually find that it's still quite sticky after all this time. So I did not like the foundation and I can see it breaking down in the nose area already. It's only been about one and a half hours since I applied it. So that's a no. The setting powder, I don't really know. I don't really like the size of it. That's all I'm gonna say. The concealer seemed quite good. The only issue is that it creases. At least it creased on my under eye. However, when you go back and you blend it out one more time, it got rid of that. So that's sorted. The eyebrow pencil was really lovely. However, the shade just wasn't the right shade for me. It was far too cool toned. I don't know if anyone has such gray eyebrows. I did have to fix my brows using my own products. The liquid lipstick seems to be quite dry. I'm not gonna lie, I can see a lot of lines on my lips. Probably you can as well. Also this shade is really not the best but this was the only shade available on the website at the time and it did look really, really good. The eyeliner is 
all right. It's a typical black eyeliner pen. I really, really liked the highlighter. It's so subtle, but so beautiful. I, I really loved that stuff. I think for days when you wanna have a really natural makeup look, something like that is going to be amazing with a really lightweight foundation or even a BB cream. Oh, it's lovely. The eyeshadow palette, is bomb. I did really like it. Some shades didn't really make sense. I don't really like the yellow and the blue topper shades and I don't really like that brown shade with glitter in it. I think that's really really weird but all of the shades we used in today's look worked really really well. This is a gorgeous eye makeup look in my opinion at least and it's a beautiful palette. The colors in it are really really gorgeous. That's it probably. Oh no, the highlight and contour palette. I didn't like it. I looked really, really muddy. It's just not the right shades basically. The white one was all right, but the contour shade was, it was really muddy on me. So yeah, that's everything. So what would I recommend from this collection? I think the concealer was really, really good. The eyeshadow palette was really good, the eyebrow pencil was really good and a part of that I would probably recommend that highlighter stick that was really good as well. I can't really recommend the setting powder because it's so small, you get such a small amount of product that it's just not worth it. It's not good value for the money basically because you can get a lot more product from other brands for the same money or even cheaper. It actually works out to be a hell of a lot more expensive than for example your RCMA No Color Setting Powder which is one of the best setting powders on the market so why would you pick up this instead? So to wrap it up, basically I feel like they are definitely going to the right direction. Their products are better and better. Everything that they send me themselves are absolutely amazing. However, some of the older products are not working as well. I can already see that they are phasing out those products though. So if you are interested in picking up something from Focoyor, definitely look at their newer products, look at their website and look what new products they're selling. They have some really cool things that they're coming out with. For example, that contour and highlight palette that I showed you, the one that's replacing the one I have, that looks really, really promising. So I'm gonna definitely go on and pick up some more products from their website because they actually have a lot more things than I initially thought they did. And yeah, I really recommend you giving them a chance as well. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I would love to have you here. And until next time, take care of yourself. I will see you very soon. Bye.